throughout the week? Well, Delaney, we can't rule it out tonight at least. We are not done with this storm system, though we thought we might have with that little hiatus throughout the afternoon. But look at this hail. This was just from today. Not great conditions to play in. But let's take a look at what that storm system is looking like currently. It just made landfall with the central coast about an hour and a half ago. And there's already portions of San Luis Obispo County that are seeing moderate rainfall near Morro Bay into Atascadero. This will intensify overnight tonight. We have a winter storm warning in place because this portion of the storm system going to bring additional inches of snow to the Santa Barbara County mountain areas. So that's going to be in place until tomorrow. Also throughout this storm system the last couple of days, we've had gusty winds churning up the ocean, which means we have a high surf advisory in place for portions of San Luis Obispo County with up to 16 feet breaking waves. Dangerous rip currents, breaking waves, elevated surf to three feet expected, six feet expected in some areas down on Santa Barbara County. Now, what is going on with that frontal boundary making its way already to the east of us, wreaking havoc in portions of Salt Lake City in Utah? But the low pressure system that was trailing behind it is what's bringing in that additional rainfall overnight tonight. If we track that over the next several hours, you'll see portions of heavy rainfall right through Santa Barbara County area. This right here is that snow that I was talking about that's possible throughout the Santa Barbara County mountain areas. And in these pockets of red and orange, yellow, heavier rainfall, we could be seeing thunderstorms pop up, giving us pockets of possible hail as well, like we saw in that video just a minute ago. Throughout the evening, this strip of heavier rainfall going to make its way across the central coast into Monday 2 a.m. It'll be hitting Shandon, the California Valley, even portions of Isla Vista before all of that rain moves southeast to us into Ventura County, L.A. County, which will see issues more into Monday afternoon. But as we see Monday morning, Things are drying out, at least here locally in San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. We'll see temperatures, though, stay very chilly throughout the extended period as that low ushers in some very cold air. But at the end of the storm system, the additional rainfall possible just from tonight is going to look up to an inch. But the models are showing right here that in Santa Barbara County, we're just under half an inch up in the northern portions of San Luis Obispo, 38 hundredths of an inch, 14 hundredths of an inch in Cambria and in San Luis Obispo, 32 hundredths of an inch going to be seen by around 11 a.m. tomorrow. Forecast wind gusts, which were very intense, causing very damaging outages across the county. Not going to be the case moving forward this evening. Seeing that take a step back. We will see gusting through the 12 a.m. hour, maybe around 20 to 25 miles an hour, but nothing like what we saw yesterday. And then we'll see those continue to diminish, diminish over the day tomorrow. Temperatures, as I was mentioning a minute ago, very uniform, still chilly. We're in the 50s, not seeing much movement even on the north coast, mid 50s to low 50s. In the five cities, we're in the mid 50s. And if you head down into Santa Barbara County, same kind of look in those upper 50s all the way through the south coast. And as we look into the extended forecast, there is a chance for rain possible by next weekend. Once again, we'll be monitoring that as it gets closer. But as for temperatures, something to keep in mind, the overnight lows, especially in our interiors, going to be very cold. Frost and freeze issues also possible once we hit Tuesday night into Thursday night. So that's something to take note of if you are going to be in town all the way through Santa Maria in those low 30s. And we won't see temperatures rebound all the way through the seven day forecast. Dusty.